Hi everyone, Tracy here. A few of you have asked me how I made these tiny little gears for my mini album. And I told you I made them with shrinky dink or shrink plastic. And um, a few of you have asked me to show you how to do them. So today I will show you how I made them. And here are a few more inside of the, um, the gears that I made. So let's get started. So this is what you will need. You will need some shrink plastic. This is Aileen's Shrink It. And when I was younger, it was called Shrinky Dinks. That's why I called them that. And there's two different types. There's the clear, which is this one. It just like, looks like clear plastic. And then there's this opaque colored one. And it really doesn't matter which one you use. It's just if you're going to stamp something without um, coloring it, then it'll matter on which one you use. The opaque will have a more uh, creamy look to it. And what else I used, because this is all I had, was I used these, um, what are they called, masks, and they had gears on them. But I'm sure you can probably go on your computer and get some clip art. They'll probably have these different shapes. And then what I did, you won't be able to see it because it's, it's I used the clear one. Let me see if I can put this behind it, yeah. So, and then what I did was I just traced them out on here and I've even not with these ones but on another one I've mixed and matched the shapes like I would take this one here but I like the insert in this one so I'd put it inside of there and if and when I did use this one here you can actually punch that circle out with one of your hand punches well at least I didn't it didn't break so so I'm going to cut these out and I'll show you our next step. I'm sure most of you know how to emboss, but if you don't, you have to take your... I'm using Versamark. I love this stuff. As you can tell, my ink pad is filthy dirty. And you put this all over your gear, or whatever you want to use with your shrinky dink here. You can use anything. I'm using gears, but I've done lots of stuff with this shrinky dink. It's really fun to play with. So you want to make sure you have it all over. Then you want to actually add your embossing powders. And I used a whole bunch of different colors on mine. I used a little bit of gold. And I used a little bit of black. And then um, I wanted copper, but this is the closest I can get. And it's a garnet color, but I didn't have too many supplies in my town. I get what I get from Michael's. and. Our Michaels, I don't think, has as much as a lot of other people's do. So, and then you want to shake off the extra, and you can even like rub it in. I'm saving these, this embossing powder. You usually do, but this is all mixed up. But I still am going to save it for any other rustic things I do. I think it'll look good. So, there we go. I think that's nice and covered. I'm just going to put these back into my container here. And what container? I'm just using um, a little film container. <laughs> if you're lucky to still have some of these, because I don't know how many people actually still use film nowadays. Not too many, I bet. I'm going to put that back in my container. Now, when I um, use the embossing tool, I'm going to shrink the plastic and it's going to emboss it at the same time. And I like to have it on one of these shiny sheets. This is like... Um, just a leftover piece from my Xyron, the, the backing of it, because this gets hot and it's, sometimes it's hard to peel off the paper, so this is just easier to peel off, and then I just throw that piece away. Usually I'd turn it off if I was going to use the heat gun, but you want to watch this shrink because this is so cool. And this is hot plastic, so you don't want to touch this with your fingers, just so you know. So sorry about the sound, and uh, enjoy the show. Now, isn't that fun? You would think it's going to stick to itself, but it, it doesn't. It will go back to its original shape, just really small. And look how that look how the embossing powder is just melting and spreading. And you just keep going until it kind of flattens out. And look how it's just like a pool of embossing powder. Isn't that neat? And I put more gold than anything else on here. But if I wanted to change the color, 
I can even just add a little bit more of this color into it and then reheat it. Okay, so that should be good. Now it's still going to be hot, but I want to make sure that it's flat, so I just kind of push down on the edges. Mind you, if you're just, like I'm using it for a charm, so it's not a big deal. And um, you're going to see that the embossing powder, because it's spread out, it went in between some of the sprockets, which is fine because you can just push down on it and it will um, mold into that. Yeah, see, it's, yeah, it's still pliable, so I'm not going to take it off yet because I will burn myself. When this cools down, I'll show you the, the finished one. Okay, so here I pulled it away from the paper and here is the finished gear. And there was some embossing powder and it happened every time I did it. In between these spikes here and I just took this little screwdriver and I just cleaned it off because the embossing powder pooled up because it was so thick. So it pulled up in between, like here's a piece here. So I just like pushed on it and pushed it to the back of it and the little pieces fall out of there and it cleans up really nice. So there that one is and then I thought well I wonder how it would look if I shrunk it first and then I embossed it afterwards and it worked also but if you notice it's not as thick the embossing powder isn't as thick and that makes sense because this was a big image and then you put all that embossing powder and as it shrunk the embossing powder had less space so it pulled up and it's nice and thick whereas here it just stayed the same size so the embossing powder just stayed on the surface it didn't it didn't shrink and pull up so either way you can do it either way it works I think I like putting the embossing powder on it before you shrink it because your embossing powder is thicker and you know you've completed two jobs at one time you've embossed and shrunk it at the same time so I think I like that one better so thanks for joining me today and I hope you give this a try and I'm sure I'm pretty sure you can still buy that stuff at Michael's maybe in a child section I'm not sure I had this this stuff is from when my kids were really young so I've had this for a while so thanks for joining me bye now